Hello everyone, welcome to Cornflower Crafts. Today, I just want to join in on the Open Collab, which is hosted by Susan. Her channel name is Susan's Heartstrings here on YouTube. And it's called Stamp Play. And she's encouraging us to get our stamps out and use them any way we want, but just use them. And that really has helped me since she started this open collab because I'm not that great at stamping. So it really encouraged me. And even though I got most of my stamps for 75% off, they sat in my closet where I was organizing a few things. And they just sat there waiting for me. And so more and more, I... I tried to go to that closet, grab some stamps out. I've done stamping on muslin before, and you're gonna see it again. Um, but this is, I've got three snippet, I'm not gonna call them snippet rolls because they're snippet strips. If you're doing a roll, usually you join your strips together. Now this one, the last one I did was bee themed and that one was paper on paper. It was a paper base, paper on top of that. I ended up putting, and I also did some lace and some seam binding. And I ended up doing appliques on it as well. And plus little flowers um, from trim and everything else on it. So it ended up having a little bit of everything on it. Um, this one, I had three strips that I wanted to do the snippets on. This one, as you see, is going to be nothing is glued down. Nothing is finished by any means, but is paper, then fabric, all neutrals, then paper. So it's going to be like a fabric sandwich or Sammy is what we say in our house. <laughs> then the next one that's a paper base as well, and that will probably end up being a combo too. I'm not really sure about that one yet. That one might end up being paper on paper, um, but maybe shabby chic with pinks and greens and pretty pastels. Um, so the stamps that I used, I used this one from Stampendous that I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby's. And that one, believe it or not, is this little snippet. I am using Ranger Archival Ink and Coffee. And so I don't know if that's showing up, but I was happy with how that came out. A matter of putting it in the ink and just pressing as I'm sure you all have done many times yourself. Another one that I used is this one, which is from Stampendous as well. And I ended up using this section again with the coffee. And it came out like so, isn't that pretty? I'm tickled with that. Then another one is from Hampton Arts, and this is hmm, Graphic 45. This is an older one, yes, but I like it. And I used the numbers, so I've got this one to show. Doesn't that come out beautiful? And this one, which I pressed way too hard, and you see, <laughs> that's from me pressing very hard. It was a matter of me using this little acrylic stamping tool, mm, the proper name, um, and just placing the numbers on how I would like. I'm pressing down hard. I also, let's see, I know where that one is in a different one. This one. Okay, they're all in this other one, I guess. Then I used another Hampton Art Graphic 45. I used this one here. 
That came out nice, didn't it? I used this one here. And what, where did I get this one? Oh, I think that was, yeah, this is from, yeah. That's from the larger one as well. Forgot to show that, this side right here. That's from that one. So, been having fun. And I also did some, some neutral envelopes, mini envelopes to put on it if I need to. Some, some paper again. You all saw that I did some stamping before. Um, stamping and die cutting with these guys that can go on. Teeny tiny little of fussy cutting for things like this, some butterflies that can go on, some of my little punches that can go on, another stamped item. Um, right now I'm thinking of flat mail, but it doesn't have to be. And if I go and don't do flat mail, how fun would a neutral wooden butterfly be? So, that's what I've been working on, getting things ready for another snippet roll. And I I will show the third one that I do that's in paper. I cut up a 12 by 12 piece of paper to make a card. And I also made some tags, which I didn't show before. And, and, and you can make quite a few things out of half a sheet, can't you? Six by 12. <laughs> I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. And I hope you have a wonderful morning afternoon or evening. Bye-bye, everybody. Take good care.